Hi people, how how are you? Welcome. Um, so this will be a really chill and relaxed uh, draw with me uh, kind of video. So take it easy. Um, join me. Do whatever you like to do. Uh, do something creative and let's do this together. So let's start. I really don't know what to draw. Since I didn't know what to draw, I did what every real artist does. I looked uh, outside of my window, I looked at the sky and I saw suddenly a point in the sky and suddenly it came to me the inspiration. No, that's that's not true. I, I went on Pinterest. <laughs> I went on Pinterest and searched for references. Actually, I gotta say, this is not a bad thing at all. References are wonderful. I think that references are really uh, needed if you want to draw something, we can say in a good way, if you want to learn, you need the references because you can't remember how everything is done, how everything is look like, how everything looks like, but you need a photo references. I suggest using photos, not like other illustrations, so that you can take the reality and then studying the reality, you can put it in your style. So you can really make the reality yours. And I think this is the way you need to learn how to do art, we can say. You also can draw from your memory, basically everything from, you, from your memory, but for example, to, to stylize, I, I think, it's, this is of course my opinion, I think that to stylize something, to put something in your style, you need to know how it, how it looks like uh, in the reality. So by doing that, you can really find the right um, things, in the right characteristics in the reality and you can stylize and put them in your style so that it became really really wonderful at the end the end result and it's not always about the end results of course because it is important to remember that also the process is really important and using references you can really let it go and you don't have to basically you don't have to think about what you're drawing because you are looking at what you're drawing and you can really concentrate on the lines you're making you can really concentrate on the way you're stylizing things without uh, um, having to think about uh, uh, where is this hand how does this uh, thing this leg bend um, or all those sort of, of things.
Anyway, I think I need to introduce myself. Hi, welcome to this video. Nice to meet you. I'm Anna. I'm, but you can call me B. Uh, I'm uh, 17 years old and I'm Italian. So if I make if I make uh, uh, big mistakes in my language, I'm sorry, but English is not my first language. Yeah, this, this video will be a really, really chill and relaxed uh, uh, video. Um, I talk a bit, uh, I leave you with a little, bit of, a little bit of music. I found these tracks and I think they are pretty cool. It, it, they are a bit rock, so not everyone cup of tea, but I really like them. So I think they're cool. I think I like them. I'd like to hear them while I'm drawing or doing something, so listen to them! <laughs> voiceover is really difficult I don't know what to say um, I could say something about this channel I want to I I'm not gonna post regularly because school of course is pretty exhausting but I really want to use it like a place where I can um, when I clear when I, where I can share my heart and my passion for art and creativity in general. I want to inspire people to do art and do what they like 
and really do something that can keep their minds uh, uh, open and active and creative. So this is my main uh, aim, this is the main aim of this channel and of course I want to have fun so nothing too serious. As you can see, I'm using a pen uh, for, for drawing because I like using pen uh, in my sketchbook to sketch because when you are using pen, you can't erase. Actually, um, this is a, a, an erasable pen, so but don't say to anyone. <laughs> anyway. I was saying, um, with pen you really have to think about the lines you are making. You really have to um, flow with your heart because of course you can't erase, you can't go back. And I really think that using pen helps you uh, loosen up or at least it helps me loosen up and embracing my mistakes and liking maybe and accepting when things look uh, look uh, look bad because it's a sketchbook it doesn't have to look good it doesn't have to look awesome and uh, using pen i can really lose up and don't think and don't care about my mistakes i really just draw because i like to draw because i like the process so yeah i really recommend using a pen to sketch.
At first, I was a little bit scared about posting this video. I wasn't sure because I... I mean, I'm not a professional artist, of course. I'm not the best at drawing ever. So I was at first a bit, a bit unsure, a bit, um, a bit scared. Not the, not of the opinion, but in general, of just the thing, the the effect of posting. Um, moreover, this is my sketchbook, so it's a place where I can make mistakes and no one will judge me. And by posting me drawing in my sketchbook, uh, it, it means I'm open to judgment. And, and I am, of, of course, I'm open to constructive criticism. I love construct constructive criticism. I think it's one of the best ways to learn. Um, so I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna post this because I had fun doing this and uh, I want that it shows that I had fun and I want to maybe um, someone who's looking at this video says it really helped me um, start uh, to start drawing or to start drawing again or maybe um, if this person who's posting a video of, uh, of them drawing on the sketchbook and they're not that good, of course, um, me that I'm a much better artist, I can post and we can maybe discover a new artist. I, I hope it makes sense well, what I just said, but you know. That's it.
this is the end of the video i really really hope you enjoyed it i really hope you enjoyed drawing or making art along with me and uh, thank you for watching leave if you like this video like leave a thumbs up and subscribe and, and see you in the next video remember always be creative bye